Hey beautiful and kind people, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Mandy and again in today's video I am going to be talking about a very important topic and it's the similar segment uh, that I have been doing, Talks with Mandy. Um, before, dig before diving into the topic, as I always say, go follow me on my Instagram because I am super active there and uh, you guys can text me and let's talk, let's have a discussion. I would love to do that. Um, also, if you, want, if you want to collaborate with me, all those things, let's uh, talk on Instagram or you can also mail me. Anything works out. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, today's topic is uh, about how to let go of things, how to not hold on to things, you know, because the reason why I want to do this topic is because you know in many things you know be it relationship be it um, about uh, 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 you know wanting to possess something I mean not possess but like uh, you know just hold on to things you know and just you know be very emotional with it and uh, you know it starts affecting you a lot so I, f I just felt like I need to talk about this because you know, we humans, we often do that and it really affects us mentally, emotionally and also maybe physically, we start feeling sick because we are not able to let go, you know, and it could be also in terms with when we lose someone very close to us and it takes a huge toll on us and we just want to, you know, don't want to do anything and everything is just, you know, like, it's difficult, right, to let go. but. There's, there's this peace and freedom when you let go of things and that is what I'm going to talk about. So, when I talk about letting go of things, what idea comes to your mind or what do you think am I talking about? I'm not talking about letting go of everything that comes to you or letting go of things that are really, really important and valuable and you let them go. No, I'm talking about things that affect you. And when something happens, what we normally do is we really overthink about it and we keep holding on to it. We, we hold on to it for so many years, for so long and that thing is not even important, you know, that particular feeling or that particular object or whatever that you're holding on to is something that you, you have memories with maybe or something that, you know, has had affected you maybe in the past. But keeping it constantly with you in the present and maybe even wanting to hold it hold on to it in the future is maybe not a good idea because then you're not ready to accept you know the fact ready to accept the truth you know not and you're not giving place to the things that are yet to come you know yet to happen you know uh, so many things are waiting you know to be with you to be a part of you maybe a person you know maybe a thing maybe an opportunity so what I want to tell you is you know definitely hold on to things that have you know like our golden memories like maybe something like you know when we sometimes I mean we keep, I love gifts okay I give a lot of gifts to my friends and to other people that I meet because I feel like you know it's a memory right holding on to a memory is not bad you know like something that gives you a pleasant feeling yes please hold on to that because it makes you feel good anything that makes you feel good hold on to that keep it but letting go of things that are affecting you mentally you know that are not very good for you and even when you know it's not good you still want to hold on to it for some reason because it you know that's the only thing that's left but is it really worth it like is it really worth carrying along with you you know everywhere and anywhere and you know just it is something that is really distracting you and affecting your life completely it's not worth it my friends like believe me I've even I'm a human right I've done it and and I that, I mean it's the good part is that I have that much realization and, and understanding that anytime you know sometimes you know like when I feel like you know I'm not able to let go of things I just I just sit I just take a pause and I really ask myself this question Amanda is this really worth it is this really worth thinking of or maybe holding on 
because it's not really giving me a pleasant feeling and it it's not making me feel good you know i'm constantly or i'm i'm not feeling like what what the or like you know these thoughts like you sometimes hold on to things that make you feel sad and make you feel like you can't love yourself you know there are there are these feelings so ask yourself this question that this thing i'm holding on to is it really good should i be holding on to this because the beauty in letting go you know of things is very 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 good you know i need i want you to change that perspective you know that it is not bad to let go of things you're not doing something wrong but rather you are letting it go peacefully you know you embraced it and now you are letting it go i have these three uh, rules you know that i keep telling people that uh, accept it embrace it and let it go these three things i will make another video on that uh, a small video on that but coming back to this topic that there is just this freedom and peace in letting things go because when when you let this go when you let a go b is waiting for you b is waiting to come into your life because if you don't clear this space how will something new enter into that space you know like you already have so much packed up let go let go of things that are not worth keeping you know in your life and you know say hello and welcome to new things that i've been wanting to come to you you know it, it could be a person it could be anything you know anything as such so if you don't do that then you know you're constantly stuck you're constantly stuck in that thought in that zone and uh, it's not really a good feeling guys so believe me trust me do it you know no matter how hard it is you know you brought someone who was very close to you you're not able to let go of their things you're not able to let go of those memories as i said keep the memories keep the good memories but let them go you know let those things go you know i mean you can keep some things that you know you feel good about them or but don't hold on to it don't let it affect your life that much you know that you're you're stuck completely you don't know how to function in okay so uh, again uh, don't forget to let go because so many new things are in the line you know waiting for you to say hello to them um so yes that's about it i don't want to make very big videos and i don't want to extend it because then it will keep extending um yes i am studying psychology and that that is the reason why i am so interested in talking about so many things that are related to this and how to actually live a life that is so simple life is very simple but we humans actually complicated and i want to help you deal with your complications and make it simple so you can definitely like text me on my instagram if there's something that is bothering you i'll try to help you out um and that's about it um don't forget to click the notification bell because i'm very very consistent and my videos they come up every wednesday and i don't want you guys to miss it like for real because all my videos are very informative and it is going to definitely help you in some way or the other so don't forget to click that notification bell and uh, as i always say like and share these videos with your friends who are really stuck who are lost who don't know you know what you know how to let go how to accept new things you know it's difficult for them share it with them and most important you guys know don't forget to subscribe because that is how you guys help me make more videos for you amazing people so that's about it uh, i'll see you guys in my next video